Southgate, you're the one. You still turn me on. Football's coming home again. Come on, England. It is coming home, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it is the morning after the night before where England were 2-0 victors against uh, the Germans. We thoroughly deserve the win, but in this video, I am going to break down uh, how I felt kind of before the match um, when I seen the lineup, whether I agree with it or not, uh, kind of how the game unfolded and then my reaction uh um, my reaction to the result and uh, how he played as a whole and moving forward we know after that match obviously Ukraine beat Sweden in the last last gasp uh, effort of extra time how I think that result is going to go and how I think we should line up um, but first of all I have to give credit to Gareth Southgate because I really would not have picked the the lineup that in fact, most England fans from this very start to the tournament until now, most England fans I don't think would have picked the same uh, starting eleven. I think if you asked every person um, in England to predict the 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 lineup for the first match, I don't I don't know if anyone would have predicted a different lineup, uh, uh, the same lineup as as Gareth. But going into this match, we had. Pickford in goal, back three of Walker, Maguire and Stones. So, we well, we played a back three or back five, however you want to call it. Um, which I was really... That was a thing I wasn't the happiest uh, with. So, we played Trippier. Trippier was in there, obviously, for his set pieces. Gareth had actually alluded to that in a, uh, in a previous interview, saying that we haven't been good at set pieces since Trippier in the first game. So, I'm not surprised that Trippier started, but I would have... Kind of, I would. I wanted a back four. I wanted a back four. E even if Trippier comes in, I would want him uh, as a right back in a back four. Um, and but he, we went to match Germany. The reason why I wasn't uh, too happy with it was the fact that we. I mean, we've been very, very solid defensively, really solid. We've obviously not conceded a single goal in the tournament coming into this game. Um, and the last time we played a back five was in the Nations League a long time ago, back in November. And we hadn't even practiced it. We haven't even tried it out in, you know, the, the three, uh, the couple of games that we have before the Euros started in any of the international friendlies before the Euros. We didn't even try it out to kind of um, to get used to the formation. However, so that was my biggest concern with it. And to rad radically change your formation heart, like um, when you get to the knockout stages of the tournament, when you face a big team, I it was almost it was almost like as if I, I was thinking that we, we, he was kind of scared of this German opposition. And I actually think we have a better team than Germany. We have a better starting eleven. We have better talent. They haven't even got a striker and. Yes, I am including Werner in that. He he was he was barely a striker. But we didn't know it was going to be uh, Gnabry or Werner that started. But Werner did start um, and missed a couple of chances, which was which was good, obviously, for us. Um, he played uh, Rice and Phillips. And again, uh, alone, alone, I would be happy with that in a back uh, in a back four. But in a back five, playing both Rice and Phillips, um, that kind of added to the anger before before the, the, the game was played in the fact that I think if you're playing a back five, I do think, you know, you take one of them out because they're very quite similar players in terms of uh, the, their first thought is, is defensive minded and they, they don't have a, a massive amount of, of creativity. But so I would have put in somebody like Bellingham alongside Phillips or alongside Rice. Uh, in there is more of a box to box, um, and then Saka, you know, I, I wasn't too bothered with the with the the front three. Uh, I wasn't calling for Kane's head like some people, um, saying that he should be dropped. Uh, Sterling, at this again at the start of the tournament, I wouldn't have picked him, but I mean, he he was our only goal scorer up until uh, this game, so I think he he warranted a start after uh, his performances. And Saka was the was very good in the um, uh, in in the last match. Uh, but yeah, I would have I would have hoped that there would be room for Grealish in there. Obviously, if we did play a back four, there would have been uh, room for 
for Grealish in there. Um, but that wasn't the case. He went with he went with a system rather than playing the best eleven players on the pitch. And it looked like in the first ten minutes of the game that was the wrong decision. That's what it looked like. The first 10, 15 minutes, they they literally cut us open like a, a hot knife through butter. Um, the same we have so many so many defensively minded players on the pitch. There was a ball through, I think, for um what well, it was it was it was Declan Rice that got a yellow card where the ball was played through and you know it was if Carl Walker didn't have the pace, if Carl Walker didn't get back there uh, in time and he looked just a little two yards further back maybe, then it would have probably been a red because he would have, he would have been last man. But the way that, that Carl Walker got there and he actually gathered the ball after he was take, uh, after Rice took him out um, to, to to show that it was only a yellow card. He wasn't last man, um, but that that was a good opportunity for for Germany and then they had another one after with uh, Timo Werner uh, should have done better than that should have probably lifted it over Pickford when he was he was not one and one he was kind of at a wide angle as well so it, it wasn't a it wasn't a straightforward you know I wouldn't call it a sitter um, but you know he should have definitely done better with the chance but Timo did Timo did what Timo does and he kind of uh he kind of fluffed it, and it was a great save uh, by Pickford. So there were there was two big moments in the half: um, one for England, one for Germany. The Germany one was obviously that Timo Werner chance that I just uh, talked about. The other chance came um, to Raheem Sterling, who kind of made it all himself, cutting in from that left hand side uh, from uh, very far out, and uh, just a, a rocket curling effort um, towards goal. And I think. Neuer did get, I think he got two hands uh, to it, but uh, yeah, it was a great stop by him and a great effort from Sterling as well up, up until that point and in this tournament has been our, our obviously big goal threat. Um, but yeah, I, I think England went into half time probably being, being the most, uh, being the happier team, apart from the first 20 minutes um, and that Timo Werner chance that they conceded. Um, I think England kind of had the momentum um, and they they looked better in possession. They definitely nullified um, Germany. I, I did want to see the full back, the wing backs getting involved in the game a little bit more um, because obviously it was a big game for them. If playing a back five, the two wing backs uh, you would hope would be on the ball a lot more, uh, a lot um, whipping crosses in, getting high up the pitch, but we didn't, didn't really see that in that first half. Straight after half time, Pickford made a, a great save. Uh, Havertz on the half volley, partially cleared header, uh, falls to Havertz on the half volley. Wonderful save from Pickford, just uh, instinctive, was just above his head, but it's one of them that comes at, at him so quickly. Um, but his reactions were good and he tips over the bar and it, it, Pickford had a, had a great night, let's be honest. Um, and then <laughs> for a period, after that, for a good 20-minute period, the game was like quite dull. There was no ch chances. Just both teams just holding possession whenever they got the ball, not really doing anything creative with it, not really putting in... Uh, uh, not really looking at... Like, attacking with any intent in the final third or, or not looking creative at, at all. But then Grealish did come on for England and uh, for the first goal... He were, he changed the game when he came on. To be honest, um, I was doing a, a watch along on Twitch with uh, Jimmy Conrad, David Myler, uh, and Cynic, and uh, who was a German fan, and uh, some of them gave Jack Grealish man of the match because he came on and he kind of changed the game. Uh, he he linked up really well with Luke Shaw and as I said about the wing backs not getting into the game, Luke Shaw definitely got in, more into the game and linked up well with, with Grealish when he came on but it was actually um, Sterling who kind of started the move and finished it as well but it was just a peach delivery from uh, from Luke Shaw, first time I think on that uh, left hand side first time ball across and it was just an easy tap in for Raheem the dream Sterling um and yeah after that 
After that, to be honest, Germany didn't look like troubling England after that. You'd have thought you'd have had a, an immediate response from, from Germany like to get back into the game. I mean, England were sitting deep. I was quietly confident at this point because England on the counter-attack they have they have players that are good on the counter attack. I thought maybe bring on somebody like Rashford, who's a, just an unreal player to have on the on the counter, but uh, that uh, that didn't happen. Um, and instead of Germany coming back into the game, we made it two with um, with Kane again. Great ball from from Jack Grealish ac across the goal, and it's a, a wonderful header by Kane as well to make it two nil. And at that at that point, you know pop the champagne open because there was no coming back from that from, from Germany. Um, and that was it. Game, set, match. 2-0 against uh, elite opposition. Um, and we've got a clear run-in to the final. No game is going to be easy in the run-in to the final. But if we do play to our full potential, then we should make it. I mean, we have um, Ukraine in the next round. And then we have either uh, Denmark or Czech Republic in the semi-final. Czech Republic, we've obviously already beaten. And we, we do have more quality than, than Denmark. There's no denying that. Um, so, you know, what a position for England to be in. I mean, is the host nation... I mean, we always perform well, is the, is the host nation. Or our best performances in major tournaments have been when we are a home nation. Obviously, things are a little different now because there's multiple home nations uh, in the in this Euros, but still we've got the majority of our games at Wembley. Um, uh, I think it's is it only the next game that we don't have at Wembley, but uh, yeah, obviously, and we got some revenge. Southgate has got his revenge on this Germany team. It was ninety six where we got to the to the semi final. Obviously, um, South, Gareth Southgate missed a penalty in that uh and germany went through well southgate's definitely got his uh, revenge now and reflecting back on on his tactics um I, i'm still fairly mixed i mean you i i can't say i i wouldn't change anything obviously now we've won two nil who cares but um a back four it would be interesting to see if i had a crystal ball to see what would have happened with a back four because like I said, I don't think the wing backs really offered a massive amount going forward. Um, and we were awesome defensively anyway in, in a back four. We still haven't conceded in the competition in a back four. So it would be interesting to see how we would have performed um, in a back four and with Grealish on from the start as well, because he was a, he definitely changed the game when he came on. Um, so if I had a crystal ball, I would do that. But because I don't, I wouldn't change anything, and I'm at the mercy of Gareth Southgate next next game. If he say if he puts Harry Maguire up front, I'm going to be like, you, you know what, mate, whatever. <laughs> you've 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 you you've gained my trust. Like the you've gradually gained my trust until this game. I was still you know not happy at the start. Now the way we performed, um, you know, all credit to you. I wouldn't change anything, and. You know, you have my trust for 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 the next. However, you want to line it up, you have my uh, complete trust and respect. Well done, Gareth. But yeah, those are my thoughts. Really, I think for three quarters of the game, we were we're in complete control. Um, it's a big step for this team. Huge step for this team. Finally beating and the rhetoric that was thrown about in the semi-finals of the uh, of the World Cup. England getting to the semi-finals. Sorry. Um, saying that we haven't beaten a, a big team, we won against teams like Panama, against Sweden, um, etc. That we, we bottled it. We we lost twice against to Belgium in that competition. Well, that rhetoric can get thrown out the window, and everyone forgets about the Nations League. Yes, we we're yet to see what that competition will become in terms of its importance and so on. But we did beat Spain in that in the Nations League as well. So. Uh, may not be a major tournament yet, but we still have got to the semi-finals of the Nation League, um, the semi-finals of the World Cup, and then in back-to-back -back competitions. And then now we are looking good. I'm not going to not going to 
put my eggs in in any baskets here but we are looking good for um the euros so i think that is all i have to say on england and the game but you can join me for watch alongs live over on twitch rna underscore deck um, is my twitch name the link is down on the description uh, below along with my other socials but yeah do get involved do join that the watch alongs are good we are we're building a, a good community so if you enjoyed this kind of content this kind of discussion um then let's bring that over to twitch and you can you can join me on there um but yeah thank you for for watching the video i am going to do more reactions like this to uh to the england games so hit that subscribe button if you do enjoy it so you get notified when i do have a video but thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time